This week, SpaceX successfully completed the 10th test flight of the Starship, um, both the, you know, the Starship upper stage and the super heavy booster that we call the full stack, uh, the Starship. But um, if you remember, uh, they've uh, blown up quite a few of them recently, uh, you know, which is, again, you know, part of SpaceX's sort of iterative engineering process where they will, will take a prototype, run it really hard until something breaks, fix that, run it really hard until something else breaks, fix that, and slowly um, and over the course of multiple iterations build up a very uh, you know, reliable, uh, durable product. Um, so this was a, a suborbital test flight. Um, the, the rocket you know, took off fine. All that was nominal. It went into orbit. It deployed a series of sort of dummy or simulated SpaceX uh, Starlink satellites. Uh, it was really cool to, to watch the launch. If you've seen it, um, there was camera footage from inside of the Starship showing like the dummy satellites kind of rolling off the rack into space. That was really neat. And then, of course, um, it re-entered and landed in the Indian Ocean after a flight of about an hour. And so the hope is that uh, this successful flight, which checked off all 10 of the objectives for the test, um, will sort of give SpaceX permission to do orbital tests of, of Starship.